Bonjour, zdravejte, hello and welcome to Monoglossia. I am Iglika and today I'm going to talk to you about a collection I have which is which might strike as a little bit eccentric. I'm talking about my collection of foreign language certificates. I will start with an overview of my my highest levels in different languages. First comes English and I actually ended up taking an exam in 2020, the IELTS indicator. I have made a video about this and uh, my result is band 8.5. Then French, I have a DALF C2 uh, from um, which year? Well, 2015. Spanish. I have a Dele B2 from 2016. Then Italian. I have a Celli B2, which I took in 2017. And Japanese. I have a JLTP certificate and four. And I took this one in 2019. Now, in a little bit more detail, in terms of English exams, first I took the TOEFL internet-based test back in 2006, when I was very young. And my score back then was 109 out of 120, which is equivalent to somewhere between B2 and C1. And as far as I can remember, my speaking was pretty bad. Literally something around a, a D in terms of grade. And then I had to take another English language exams, exam last year because TOEFL results expire in two years time. And I opted for the newly kind of um, completely online based uh, IELTS indicator in which um, as you can see in my video I had a band uh, 8.5 which is C2 I took it at home um, I forgot to say about the TOEFL I took it back home in Sofia Bulgaria then uh, when it comes to French language exams I took the first two DELF slash DALFs in 2012 in one in the same year, one in the same session, just to be sure because I wasn't sure of my level. Uh, in case you don't know, DELF is the name for levels up to B2 included and then C1 and C2 are referred to as DALF. DELF means Diplôme d'études en langue française and DALF means Diplôme approfondi de langue française. I took these two in, in London in the French Cultural Institute in South Kensington. It was a really fun experience. It's an um, interesting neighborhood to take a look at, really a French neighborhood in London. And I, I managed to pass both exams and the speaking was a bit bad again, I think. And a couple of years later, in 2015, I took the last one, the C2 level, the of C2. Uh, a lot of time had passed uh, and during part of this time I was living in France, so it went extremely smoothly. I took it in Sofia, Bulgaria and everything was, I scored highly on everything, including the speaking this time. Right now I don't have this certificate because I, I sent it when applying for French citizenship. I hope to get it back one day actually. Then, Spanish. DELE is an official Spanish exam. Uh, it's called Diploma de Español como lengua extranjera and it is issued by um, 
Instituto Cervantes, a cultural institute that is present in many countries around the world, promoting Spanish culture, offering Spanish lessons. I took this one in 2016 in Sofia. Once again, my speaking was the lowest of marks and the reading comprehens comprehension was the highest, as it usually happens. And I had started study span st studying Spanish uh, a long time ago, way before French, actually. And I had been meaning to, to get a certificate for a long time, so I was very happy when I finally um, got involved enough and I got my certificate. An interesting fact is that even my favorite singer, Robbie Williams, congratulated me, which was super sweet of him. Thank you, Robbie. Now, on to the Italian. Again, the level is B2. And the exam is CELI, or Certificato di Conoscenza della Lingua Italiana, issued by Università per Stranieri di Perugia. I took this one the next year, 2017, in Sofia, Bulgaria. And it went relatively smoothly. My overall grade is B. It is the regular system from A to D. But my speaking was C or D? I think it was C. But it, it wasn't good. Actually, my Italian is a little bit worse than my Spanish, I think. However, the Spanish exam is especially hard to take. That's why I opted for the B2 in both cases. And finally, Japanese. The first one I took was JLPT N5. This is the lowest level. They go from N5 to N1, N1 being the strongest. And JLPT stands for Japanese Language Proficiency Test. I took the first one in 2018 in Paris. And the second one the next year uh, the N4, which is my highest diploma, as I said, in 2019 in Sofia, Bulgaria. It was a very hard exam to the point that I was wondering whether I was going to get it. And the good thing is you need only around half the answers right in order to pass, which is pretty generous. Um, when compared to other exams. And also I will point out that my score was really borderline and it was significantly lower than my score had been the previous year for, for the previous level. That is to say that in one year's time I covered less than a whole level of Japanese. Okay, so these are my current official certificates. I would love to have more and actually I'll be happy to share with you the process of preparing for and taking more exams. For instance, uh, in Russian and Greek. So please stay, stay tuned. I, I hope to feature some language lessons for us to enjoy together here in this channel. So please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.